YouTubers and everyone. Um, welcome to five. Um, that's the football index videos. Um, this is the side of my channel where I'm discussing everything football index, um, from portfolio management to picking players and tips and whatnot. I'll be releasing videos um, as uh, as soon as I have any topic to discuss, news and stuff like that. Um, I've released a couple of videos so far. At the moment, I'm still fairly new to the platform. I've only known about Football Index about six months, really. Um, and I've only just been on the platform a couple of months and only started trading um, f for the first few weeks, really. So not much to say on that because I don't have too much to go on for that. At the moment, I'm trying to familiarize myself with the platform. And at the same time, as I find out new and interesting things to discuss regarding the platform, I do try to release a video about that. So I keep you guys well informed about that too. And there are a few topics I wanna to discuss today. Um, some you might already know about if you're um, older than me on the platform. But at the same time, I have a slightly different perspective with the platform because I have a, a background of trading in the financial exchange market, um, Forex and um, the stock market. So for that, I have a slightly different view as to how certain things should be done or, or whatnot. I mean, I'm not saying how things should be done for the platform. I'm not, I'm, I'm not the guy who runs the business, obviously, but um, I do have my own opinions and opinions I'm willing to share with you guys. So we're going to start today with... Um, the footy, um, for those of you who don't know, um, the footy is a tracker um, that tracks the whole of the index. So it tracks all the players on the index. It's been around since the exception of um, football index, which um, from my understanding is 2015. And as you can see here from Wikipedia, um, it says here the stock market capped. Um, the stock exchange cap called the footy started with the launch of the platform on the 2nd of October 2015 with a base value of a thousand points. So it was worth a thousand points in 2015. Um, and as of April two, um, 2019, um, 19th of April, the footy had grown uh, to 86,471. Um, so yeah. On that note, I'm just going to show you guys, this is the footy up here. Uh, it's currently at 154,331.99 cents. Um, That's what it's sat at at the moment. Um, so you can see it's grown in value um, dramatically over the last year, less than a year really. It's grown almost double in value since then, right? So... You can see there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, growth to, to happen on the index as as far as I'm aware too I think they they only have they only had about hundred thousand users a couple of years ago right yeah so in January 2018 football index reached 100k users I don't know exactly where it's at currently um, but I'm guessing it's round about near enough 200k or just over 200 or maybe a half a million users but I don't think it's up to a half a million users to be fair that information I'd have to find out somewhere if you do have that do leave that in the comment section and let me know um, but yeah, th there's a lot of room for this um, for this business to grow. This business model, they're they're in a niche market, and they're in, they've got a really niche um, idea. So I do expect to see some more growth in this. Um, for those of you who are interested, I've managed to track down the uh, the funding. Uh, that Football Index tried to, well, um, applied for through um, crowdfunding website Cedars. And for those of you who are aware of this and um, like to see information like this, I'm kind of an investor. So I, I tried to look for the parent company of Football Index and see if there's a way to invest in the company as a whole rather than players as well, um, to see if there's a, an opportunity to to take part in in the um, phenomenon that's going on with football index and so far i've not um uh, found a way to do so i did find a parent company but um i've not been able to dig up a lot of information on that parent company if you want some more information on that do leave down the comment section and i can maybe do a video on seeing if there's a way to take part in that um in that um venture but yeah, that's the uh, funding. If you want to read that, there's a lot of information on the business. That's the um, founder of the business there. And you can kind of read up and see how the business progressed and where they came from, really, if you're interested in that sort of stuff. As um, as an investor, I like to know the history of what I'm investing in. Um, I know it's a lot 
to do with the players, but as a whole, understanding the company you're working with um, goes a long way too. So yeah, for those of you who are interested, go check out the um, the uh, the Cedars uh, funding uh, request that was put through and completed with um, well over um, 200k over the the actual funding requested 800,000. They got to 1.1 million, and obviously they went from from uh from there to where they are now um this is a, a while ago 6th of november 2012 so you can see where the companies come from and you can see that they they've got their eye in the game really um so yeah the, the next thing i wanted to discuss was this next number here for those of you who know what this is do let me know i thought it was the i i tried to figure it out myself but i didn't get to the answer there um, I did speak to Football Index today on the phone about it. The guys I spoke to on the phone didn't really have a clue uh, uh, about this thing. He had to um, put me on hold to go find out what the footy was. Um, so that's that's a, a thing. So he's basically put in, the, the Football Index guys uh, at the support desk put in a request for me to get answers on what this number actually stands for and what it represents within the platform so um as far as i'm aware i'd like to know everything to do with the platform that way you can make better choices and get better returns in in, in the long in the grand scheme of things so yeah if, if you know what this um what this figure is please do let me know i'll be very interested to find out what that means and how that plays a part in my day-to-day -day activities in the platform um, so yeah, the next thing I wanted to discuss is regarding the, um, for those of you who don't know, you could actually buy, um, sorry about this, if I can just find it. Right, so for those of you who don't know, you can buy trackers on Football Index. Um, a lot of you probably are aware of this already if, you, if you've been on the platform for a long time, but for those of you who are new to the platform like me, then you buy stuff called trackers. And so far they, they have four trackers, um, tracker 10, 25, 50, and 100. And from what I understand, these trackers track for tracker 10, it will track the top 10 players on Football Index, tracker 25, top 10, um, top 25 players on Football Index. And as the rest suggest by the name, they track the top 50 and the top 100 players on Football Index. And um, from what I understand, um, coming from a trading um, investment background, you can invest in sort of um, ETFs and stuff like that. And those are sort of similar to what these trackers are. And um, the only disadvantage with these trackers at the moment that I've found is you can't actually see a chart for these. There's no history, historical data to go by. At the moment, you can just put a money, um, you can just put your money on, on the tracker, but without actually seeing the historical data of how that um, that price has flown on a chart, you you really don't know how to judge the dips and whatnot, and be able to understand if there is um, some sort of um, system to the madness on those trackers. So that's something I'll be looking out for to see if they bring out some some updates to improve the the um, the cu customer um, uh, and, uh, interaction with these trackers, um, have some sort of in, uh, um, historical data to them and chart information that will be great and then we can make some sort of informed decision as to whether or not to, the tracker is overvalued or overpriced or whatnot or see if there is some sort of um, area to get into that to that price but at the moment buying a tracker at, at the um, current price without having any historical data is, is not a good idea for me I wouldn't um, recommend that so that's why I haven't sort of looked too much into it at the moment all i can see here are tracking names and prices which isn't good enough for me really so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know about that if for those of you who don't know um what was the next thing i was going to discuss uh my portfolio so far i did um, let you guys know what my portfolio was i, I made a 30 pound initial deposit I had a £10 referral um, bonus given to me at the inception of my account and I had a f further £50 um, that I later found out was a, was a bonus also um, um, put into my account. So in total I ended up with £90 um, which in total I've spent £81.50 of that and currently down 27 25p today i was up at some point today 11p but 
there you go this uh, portfolio has only been active a few days uh, maybe a week at most so not a lot to go on from that data so far and um, with regards to the spreadsheet I showed you guys on my video yesterday I will I've been doing some work to try and understand how to use that spreadsheet better and seeing a way um, to, to see if we can uh, resolve that issue we picked up on yesterday um, with regards to multiple portfolio management that's something I'm currently working on and seeing if there's a way we can actually um, achieve that without um, uh, sorry with, with some respect to uh, improving the PNL at the end of the day so we'll see how that goes um, I'll be giving you guys updates releasing videos regarding um, some improvements on the platform any news that I get um, and um, some of the feedback with regards to the questions I've put forward to to the support team down at Football Index so far. So yeah, thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate your support and all the um, uh, support that you've showed on the channel. Um, do share, like and distribute the content if um, it's anything that you're keen on. And um, yeah, see you guys tomorrow or another day. Cheers for today, guys. Bye for now.